Hello everyone, this is Moshe, the Electric Israeli, and I just saw something really interesting taking place in superchargers in China. China! Uh, well, before that, before I tell you that, I don't know if you heard about it or not, but I, I made a video about it uh, maybe a couple of weeks ago. There is a phenomenon, I call it, it's called icing. Icing is when uh, internal combustion engine aka icing um, park in supercharger spot now most of the time people just don't know i mean there's a supercharger not far from my house um in a mall and it's next to a movie theater and last night i drove by it was um it was uh you know very crowded and just people parked there uh and then there's the other phenomenon of uh, pickup trucks there was that issue in around raleigh north carolina uh, where uh, a lot of uh, trucks on purpose uh, parked in um, uh, superchargers in protest of progress, which is another store. So in order to combat that, uh, in China, Tesla made something. It's like a bar. I'm going to show you a picture. It's a bar that stands right in the middle of the parking spot. So you cannot park there. And then on the wall, there is a... a um, there's a QR code. There's a QR code that, uh, let's say, will read your car through an app or some kind of a pass or an easy pass or a fob, whatever that is, and then it will bring the the bar down and let only a Tesla car go in, which is an absolutely fabulous idea. Well, the only problem with it is in China. Well, that's not a problem. Good for the Chinese. What about us? We need that. Uh, I mean, one of the worst thing, especially when you drive, when you take a long trip drive, is um, uh, to find a, a, a supercharger spot taken by a uh, regular car, ice car. Thus, the term icing came. So, like I said, most of the time it's done innocently. Some of them is done, um, it's done on purpose. Uh, what the best suggestion is usually the parking lots in those areas are owned by whoever is owning the, that um, that uh, uh, you know mall or uh, or strip mall or whatever that is or store or whatever that is and you can just go to one of the security uh, trucks around there or to somebody and ask for these cars to be moved and usually that would solve the problem with it will take you time you know, sometimes people would call the police and then the police come and give them a ticket. I mean, it's like parking in a handicap spot. You're not supposed to do that. So um, that's a fabulous solution. I hope to see it coming to the United States soon. So when you go to China with your Tesla <laughs> and you want to park, know that they, they, in some places this is what they do. Hopefully we see it soon. That's it, guys. Just wanted to share with you. Thank you, guys. Subscribe. Help me change the world one electric car at a time and support this channel and i see you tomorrow with another video